The founder of wildly popular Reddit chat room Wall Street Bets has slapped the platform with a lawsuit. Jamie Rogozinski is suing Reddit for removing him as moderator from the subreddit room he created back in April of 2020 and violating his rights to trademark the Wall Street Bets name. He is seeking at least one million in damages for breach of contract and in violation of his publicity rights and to ban the Wall Street Bets forum unless it reinstates him as moderator. Rogozinski, if you rewind here, he created Wall Street Bets in 2012, but the subreddit room really rocketed to fame in late 2020 when users ignited the meme stock trade frenzy. The Reddit forum has now amassed 14 million subscribers. We did reach out to Reddit for a comment on the lawsuit. They said the following, quote, this is a completely frivolous lawsuit with no base in reality. Jamie was removed as a moderator of Wall Street Bets by Reddit and banned by the community moderators for attempting to enrich himself. This lawsuit is another trans transparent attempt to enrich himself. It's telling that he is filing the suit three years after he was banned by Wall Street Bets and long after the community rose in mainstream popularity without his involvement. We will respond directly in court and continue to protect the best interests of the communities and moderators of our platform. All this is coming as Reddit has announced plans to go public during the second half of this year. So with this lawsuit from the Wall Street Bets chatroom founder that helped Reddit reach a $10 billion valuation, will it derail the plans to IP? Joining me now in a Fox Business exclusive, the Wall Street Bets founder, Jamie Rogozinski. Jamie, let me just throw this out at you. Why are you bringing this suit now? Hi, Liz. Thanks a lot for having me on. Uh, that's an excellent question. So let me start off by addressing the fact that I did not pick the time. Reddit did. We've been in settlement negotiations for several years. And back in September, they decided to pull the plug on it and take me to court. Even still... Uh, I decided to give them another chance and actually go to mediation so we can have like a professional intermediary uh, help us try and work through the differences. And after just the first session, they walked away from this thing. So let me be clear, Reddit picked the time. I have been silent about this for three years, hoping to find an amicable, mutually beneficial solution to this problem. And I think that Reddit is surprised that I finally decided to fight back and instead of sitting back with my arms crossed. Okay, they say that you violated the guidelines, that within this chat room, their guidelines say no one in any of these rooms is allowed to enrich themselves. They say you wrote a book and that you started promoting the book. Game, set, match. Some lawyers would say, okay, Reddit wins here. Why, Why do you say no that you have this case? <laughs> Look, I, you know, I'm not going to try and figure out what the, the fine print is on these things. That's what lawyers are for, right? Like, I want to understand without legalese why it is that after I was kicked out, Reddit is chasing me and trying to take away my intellectual property, right? I can understand. It's up to the courts to figure out exactly whether or not that was right or not right. But what it's a question here is if I took an idea to Reddit and I said, hey, I want to create Wall Street bets, and Reddit goes, well, I believe that you did something wrong. Once again, courts will decide what, what exactly took place there. But then they kick me out. Then they chase after me. I've been blocked from taking this idea elsewhere. In other words, they've just usurped this. I don't understand it. And I'm not the only person this has happened to, right? Like, this is what I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand what Reddit's law game is on this thing. I don't understand uh, uh, when I started doing, like, research for this thing. I, I found that Reddit has trademarked all sorts of other subreddit names. And other people have actually raised opposition to this thing. So, mm -hmm. like, this is a much bigger question as to whether or not I decided to sell a book. And just one last point on this thing. Uh, I don't understand why... Uh, you know, if monetization uh, is really the thing that I was in trouble for, why were the, the, the moderators on Wall Street Bets allowed to continue monetizing by selling T-shirts before, during, and after I was kicked out for well, many years? In well, other words, monetizing so, right. like Reddit doesn't seem to be a problem unless you're me. Well, exactly. So there I would see a little bit of a crack in the armor because... You have all kinds of examples on Reddit. I mean, we looked, of course, the Wall Street Journal pointed out that Fidelity uh, is able to promote their services on a Reddit chat room. So that I get. Uh, I, I look at all of this and I, I think to myself, the part about the trademarking, you wanted, you applied it to federal court in Oakland, California back, I think, about a couple of, uh, one month before your departure, you applied to trademark the term Wall Street Bets. Uh, they also tried to trademark Wall Street bets, but you came up with it. 
So what part of this is going to be included in the lawsuit? Everything. I mean, like, that that's the whole point. Like, I, here's the thing. I'm not here to talk legal stuff. That's what the that's what the, the, the armies of lawyers are, right? Uh, I am here to, to just say, hey, I had an idea. I go to Reddit. I get kicked out, and I'm not allowed to take my idea with them, right? We'll figure this out. Look, I can understand that Reddit says, I wanted to protect this community, and that's why I kicked them out. Sure, let's go ahead and give you that argument for just the sake uh, right now. But why chase after me? Like, when did Reddit turn into Goliath? Why all of a sudden uh, are, are they deciding What's to chase platform, after this? Like, personally, Jamie? It, I mean, arguably, I'm sorry? it's their platform. I, I can just see it. They would argue, wait a minute. Look, I, I work at Fox. I do a podcast. Everyone talks to Liz. Fox owns that because um, I created yeah, it for, in this a social building. media company. Can you imagine what would what happen if all of a sudden Discord says, hey, I'd like to protect our little chat rooms. So I'm going to start snagging up all these little rooms uh, in your best interest. Right. Like, how would that fly? What kind of message? Are, look, I know that I would never take my next idea to, to Reddit. Right. And I think that probably that that is a, a, a feeling is mutual. But if I were in Reddit's shoes, I would want to be trying to promote this message of, hey, let's bring in more people. Social media companies rely on content creators that want to come to their site with good ideas mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and actually create the content. Unless Reddit is trying to claim with the fact that they're actually producing the posts and, and the moderation well, on Wall Street bets, which I don't believe it is. What about this issue? If you were allowed to, to come back and be the moderator, the way that Reddit puts it, and some of the current moderators, you wouldn't exactly be welcome because for some reason they don't like you. I mean, why are you fighting for this look, beyond look just a, look, a million this, this bucks? This is a really simple one, right? That that excuse, they didn't think that one all the way through. Here, I'll put it this way. On one hand, they're saying, well, I, you said 14 million. I thought it was 13 million. On one hand, they're saying that, that 13 out of the 14 million members showed up after I left because when I was there, it was 1 million, right. meaning Practically nobody there knows me, or no, practically nobody that who's there now was there when I was around. Uh, so nobody knows who I am. But nobody there wants me. So how can nobody want me if nobody knows who I am? Like, pick one and stick with it. At least think through your arguments before you come up with it. Look, like, uh, I know that Reddit was trying to rush this thing out the door, and I don't want to tell them how to do their job, but I almost feel bad for them, right? Mm -hmm. They, you know, It's perfectly acceptable mm -hmm. for PR company to say no comment when you have no idea what you're talking about. My final question is, you're looking for one million, or is it more than one million? One million seems kind of small when in these types of situations. Is that all you feel yeah, you were I have, harmed I have no by? idea who came up with that number. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, I don't believe that there is, is a number in the lawsuit. No, no. Look, somebody came up with that number. They put it in there. Everyone running well. The, the point here is that, like, I'm extremely confident in, in the fact that I'm going to prevail in this because Reddit has never shown an ounce of diligence when it comes to me. Like, every time I talk to them, they seem surprised. They can't even seem to spell my name when they wrote this like, PR release. I think they think I was a teenager until recently because they served papers at my parents' house in Washington, D.C. I live in Mexico. It says so. I hope it says it on my screen right now. Everyone knows it for like a <laughs> decade right now. Yeah. I'm an adult, Reddit. Do your homework. Like, this is going to be easy. But the biggest reason why I'm going to prevail is because I am passionate about this. I love this. This is, I'm fighting for what is right. And I believe that Reddit is just fighting for money. And that's a much weaker incentive, right? Okay. I don't understand why Reddit decided to push me to the other side. They could have the same exact fury fighting for them instead of against them. They should have kept our interests aligned in a mutually beneficial manner, in a symbiotic relationship, the way that it's always been, the way that every social media company seems to get it. Jamie, uh, thank you for coming on to give your side. I think it is, is certainly newsworthy that you were in settlement talks all this time. You kept quiet. And the reason you're filing now, three years later, is because couldn't come to an agreement. Please, please come back as this thing develops, OK? Huh, just, just let me be clear. I would have kept it. I would have continued settlement talks. Reddit took me to court now. This is the point, right? Gotcha. Like, this isn't me deciding to take advantage of the moment. Thank you for coming on to talk to our viewers Thank about you. it. Because, I mean, Anytime. there's one thing for sure. Wall Street bets definitely changed the landscape for the power of the retail investor. You created it. Um, we'll be watching this very closely. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Anytime. happy to come back anytime.